Grouping tracks in Ableton Live is a very simple way to get control of multiple instruments, multiple tracks that are very similar, and it gives you a really easy way to manage volumes and levels of your tracks really simply. So let's take a look at how to group tracks in Ableton Live. Now I've got an Ableton Live set loaded here. Now when I look at this, personally for me, this is pretty overwhelming. See, seeing all these individual tracks for each of these songs, at least they're folded up, right? If they were all unfolded, you know, if every single song looked like this and I could see everything, uh, that would be a lot for me to manage but these individual tracks uh, all correspond with individual songs so one of the first things i do when i'm working with a live set is i actually group all these up so that i just see the uh, the overall uh, group stem for this song so in this case i would select the click track for this first one i would hold shift select the last track of my song and there's a couple different ways we can group tracks in live one we can right click and we can choose group tracks all right and then that's going to put all of this in a group track i can rename this by right clicking and doing rename or doing command r we can call this song one and then what's great about this i could fold this up you can see how much easier it is to see that song but if i want to unfold it i get access to all those tracks as well too same process works over in session view can fold and unfold that makes it just a, a lot easier for me personally to manage a lot of tracks for an uh, individual song i get a level here that's going to adjust the level for all of these tracks and personally for me when i'm using tracks live on stage in, in a way like this i'm going to do audio to sins only and then i'm going to manage individual external outputs for those so multiple outputs for my computer but i still have a level here that's going to adjust all my songs now i said there are a couple other ways to do this uh for this song i'm going to select all of my parts again I'm going to click on the first one here. I'm going to hold shift to select the last one. This time I'm going to do command G, or if you're on a PC, then uh, do control G. That's going to group all these together. And then we can click on our group track and do command R to quickly rename it. And I can do song two. Okay. Um, now this is how I would set up my, my set uh, for, for live use, right? I would do the same thing here. I'd group it and then I would do song three. But one of the nice things with uh, group tracks is you can also have what's called nested group tracks. I don't do this live, but I do this 100% in the studio when I'm working on a song, uh, producing a song. And as I start to get close to the mix stage, I want a little bit more control of this. I want it to function like a live audio console where I have faders, then I have groups of faders, whether buses um, or um, uh, uh, aux sends or, or some way to basically take those and group those DCA. Um, some way to group those where I could say, okay, here's my drums, here's my guitars, and then I have my master fader as well too. So for example, if I go into this song here, I could say, okay, here's all my electrics. I want to select my electrics. I'm going to do command G and I'm going to call this electrics. And now within my uh, song to group, I have an individual group here that says electrics. Uh, we have organ, we have pad, we have piano, synth, right? Let's select these. Um, let's, let's put them all next to each other. So in this case, I'll select piano synth. Okay. And we'll drag these up. We'll do organ pad, piano synth. We'll do command G to group these and we'll call these keys, right? So now I have a keys group. I have an electrics group. That's a part of song two. Now I could keep going down uh, throughout here, kind of move these around. Let's say, let's put these with drums. Let's make this a drum group. Again, I don't do this live because I don't need um, uh, this kind of control over this live. Uh, I use sends and returns to kind of do something like this to make it a little easier to understand. But I could kind of keep going through here and um, and do all this. But in the studio, I 100% do this to, to make this a little easier to manage and to control. Um, let's put acoustic with our uh, electrics here and we'll turn this into guitar. So I'm going to click on acoustic. I'm going to drop it right on that track there. Okay. And then instead of electrics, we're now going to call this guitars, which is great. Uh, and then choir, we'll put this with uh, BGVs with vocal effects, right? And we'll call this vocals. We'll group it. Okay, so there's our vocals uh, group there. Um, and then what's great about this, we'll just leave everything else that's there, is when I look at the song now, I have song two, I can ungroup it. And within there, I have nested groups. So I have my vocals group. I could uh, adjust the volume of my vocals group. And then I could go into each one of these individual tracks and adjust the level there. You can still use sends and returns in the studio. Again, when I'm live on stage, I use sends and returns to uh, effectively uh, send volume to different places within Ableton Live. Uh, but a lot of really useful things that we can do here. And again, I can really quickly mix, create sub mixes to create uh, groups of, uh, of tracks in my song. And then I get an individual level of my song as well, too. So that's a look at how to create 
uh, groups in Ableton Live. Again, incredibly helpful both in the studio and on the stage, no matter how you're working. If you want more tips like this on how to use Ableton Live in a way that's efficient, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. I post a new video every single day, 10 a.m. Central. So hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever a new video goes live. We premiere it every day at 10 a.m. Central. You can join the premiere and be one of the first people in the entire world that watches the video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.